introducing you. Give me that. The brand new ancient treasure donkey figure. This thing is a million years old. Discovered in an ancient tomb. This limited one-time only figure has the ability to suspend crystals in midair. And we got the old donkey toy back in stock. And we got hats and beanies back in stock for Grimbus. So remember, better go to the castle. Better go to the castle. Better go to the castle. Or you will not be able to acquire the ancient treasure donkey which was left behind in the year 1865 by the Zubino people who were extra in the United States because of the deal between Abraham Lincoln and the Hunnian Confederate General during the tail end of the Civil War. Welcome video game viewers. Today we're going to be comparing the two biggest multiplayer games on the internet, Halo Infinite versus Splitgate. Which game do you like to play more? Why is my guy faced the wrong direction? First, let's look at pricing. Both of these games are my favorite price, free. But what we have to remember is that I would actually pay money to not play most free-to-play games. They're often very self-defeating in that way. Call of Duty and Battlefield just came out, both $60 games. Halo said, nuh-uh. Splitgate said, nuh-uh. Fuck that doo-doo shit. Call of Duty is a penis game. Battlefield is a penis game. Fix your game. Let's look at what each game brings to the table. Splitgate has a funny time trial mode, which is why they should call this Split Game, because half of our time playing this was just playing the time trial mode. Splitgate is knock off Halo with the portal gun, which turns out is actually a really fun racing tool. If the question is what's the more innovative game, obviously Splitgate. Adding portals to Halo just changes up the entire thing. Naturally, you can set up the old infinite portal trick and zoom through it at a million miles per hour. Oh, hold on. But the real game changing element is that players can create their own sight lines on the fly with the portals. You can make a portal, headshot someone through the other side, you can shoot someone through their own portal, you can say this, go over here, say hello. The portals uh, add a lot to the funniness factor of the game. Like, look at this. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? But Halo Infinite has vehicles. Where are you going? No, where are you going? What the fuck? Which are also very funny. You can trust me now. You can trust me now. Don't crash us. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, How oh, did you crash us already? What what just the fuck? You immediately. It was immediate. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck me, no. The Banshee is also very funny. Uh, if you see somebody just walking around, you just hit him with one of those. This dumb guy is trying to fight me. He's out of there. Then I got stuck in here. This was a situation. Um, yeah, they'd stunned it. And then, but I actually, I actually get to double kill there. Then this guy has the balls to steal my Banshee. I snipe it out of the air. New one spawns in. Of course, I'm getting in there. Another double kill. This guy is trying to steal my shit. I say no, no. Windshield wiper. Which game has the better community? I, I beat uh -huh. Halo 3 on easy <laughs> once, actually. I beat I beat all Halos on easy. I like Crab, Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. You know, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Halo. However, Splitgate has the ability to get Urkel kills, and this is very important to a gamer of my level. You see, by using the momentum of the drop, you can launch yourself through and say, Pop! Steven Urkel kill. Look at this, I say this, I say this, but then what do I say? What do I say next? I say, did I do that? What game has the better weapons? Definitely Halo. There's a lightning gun that stuns warthogs. Oh, that doesn't, I feel like that did not. Oh. There's a big hammer. There's a big hammer. I wanna see. And he has the fucking sword, Jason, run! They got the energy sword, shotgun. That's funny. Nail gun. Oh my god. Halo also has a grapple hook. Far Cry 6, take some notes. Take this is how you do a grapple hook. Wait. Holy shit, Jason. I was playing big team battle and there was this mongoose flipping over and I took out the grapple hook and I said, Tell me you don't like that. 
tell me you don't like that. Better game modes? Well, right now in Halo Infinite, you cannot queue up to just play Slayer. Instead, you have to join a playlist with a variety of modes, and then it usually just picks. I fucking hate Oddball. God damn. Well, we let's, come on, let's play some Oddball. Play just ball. <laughs> Being in the hill or something? Or you what? hold the yeah. ball for yeah. You gotta hold the <laughs> ball. Let's play some odd ball. Play ball. <laughs> Slayer is the perfect game mode because the objectives are you know capture the rocket launcher in the tank. Everybody wants that. Nobody wants to hold a stupid ball or stand on a point. Splitgate, on the other hand, has a mode called teabag confirmed, where you have to teabag enemies to get points. Splitgate wins that round. Splitgate, you can get a kill itiscope, but Halo, you can get a yard sale, and that's where uh, Al from Al's Toy Barn acquired Woody in the film Toy Story 2. Power no, Power Jason, Power. please! Yard sale! You. In Splitgate, Fluppy said this. This game belongs on fucking shit stain island. But in Halo, what was said this? I just huffed chemical. Why did you do that? I don't know. So which game is better? Both. They're both better than Far Cry. Now look at this dumb guy that's from the other team that gets on my mongoose. Look at what I do to this guy. <laughs> they could do that? Oh my god, he just drew up a flopper <laughs> What the f-